I love this guy. He has the balls to stand up and make a statement. Maybe knowing that it's going to cost him his job. But he has morals and values and he sends a very loud and clear message to all of those people receiving food in these essential times when guys like him are going out there on the road, possibly exposing themselves to COVID or Delta, going into restaurants to make sure that you are fed. And why do you order the food? Because you are too afraid to go out there and do it yourself. So don't you think that deserves a tip? And he says a delivery driver, he said he left the customer note um, reminding them that um, he doesn't work for free. You know, we work for tips. So a hero in my eyes, um, sadly, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'll find out now which company this is. I'm pretty sure they'll deactivate him. But you know what, my friend? There's many other jobs out there, and that just shows a ton of courage in my eyes. So he says, you can right your wrongs below. He does this on TikTok, right? And it's beautifully written. Venmo there, you know, and he probably picked up a ton of other uh, donations from people on TikTok because I believe it was watched over 300,000 times. So good for him. So he says, I just drove my personal car to your house, right? And um, you didn't tip me. So let's, uh, let's find out exactly what this is all about here. Um, my friends, the one thing that does work is if you take the matter to social media, right? You have to use that platform to your advantage, right? You have to use YouTube, Twitter, and all of these social media platforms to your advantage, because that is what gets the exposure, that is what gets the story across. It says a DoorDash delivery driver said he left a note for a customer who didn't tip. He had it all written out. He signed it. If you can't afford to tip, then you should go pick it up yourself, he wrote in the note. Now, that's ballsy, but he's right. He's right. And he's just he's making a statement there on behalf of all drivers. And hopefully other people that are ordering see that as well. Right. So. You know, they receive the message loud and clear. If you can't go out, then pick it up yourself. If you're too afraid to go out there during the COVID and Delta and you're sending me there, well, guess what? Please tip me, right? He posted a video about this letter on TikTok where it sparked a debate on tipping. It's good. That debate on tipping must be um, had, right? It's got to be out there. It's, it's, it's important. It's important that that issue of tipping gets cleared up between people ordering or riders or drivers or delivery people. Um, it's a good conversation that is necessary. A DoorDash delivery driver shared his unconventional method for encouraging other people to tip in a recent TikTok video. On Tuesday, the delivery driver who goes by French Fry Thug on TikTok posted a video addressing a customer who he said didn't tip. The video, which is now no longer available to view as French Fry Thug has let his account to private had been viewed more than 335,000 times at the time of writing. Now, my only word to you, uh, my only advice to you, French Fry Thug, is don't set your, don't set your account to private. Let it run public. You wanted to make this announcement public, and then you've got to stand by it. It looks rather strange that you would then um, set it to private. That says to me, you don't really feel good and you don't stand behind what you say. So my advice, make it public. You're going to get way more publicity. You can start your own channel. You can make money, so much more money in other places than you, that you would have never dreamed of. The DoorDash worker says in the video that when he dropped off the customer's order, he left a note that read, if you can't afford a tip, then you should go pick it up yourself. Who do you think you are to order food and have someone come and bring it to your door for free. For free? He told Insider he had worked for the food delivery app since December. He said in an email that the customer addressed in his video was a habitual no-tipper. And that he posted the video to make a statement. And again, all I can say to this driver, you made a statement and good for you. I stand behind you. 
This behavior is clearly inappropriate and has no place on the DoorDash platform. That's how DoorDash retaliates. We are looking into this incident and will take appropriate action. Appropriate action means you are deactivated, my friend. French, no more French fries. No more French fry thugs. But French fry thug, have a conversation with me on YouTube. Let's do another follow-up video because you, you have an amazing future on social media, my friend. I can tell you that. You're ballsy. You're charismatic. You write a letter like this. I, I, I like it already. I like it already. He says, Dear Amy, this is the person who never tips. If you can't afford to tip, blah, 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 you should um, uh, pick it up yourself. Who do you think you are to order food and have um, someone come and bring it to your door for free? For free, I just drove my personal car to your house to deliver your food for fun? Question mark. No, not today. You can write your wrongs below. Venmo. I forgot to tip. At I forgot to tip. Disclaimer. The views and opinions expressed in this letter are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of DoorDash. <laughs> it's great. He's got humor. Um, this guy needs to be on social media. According to his TikTok video, the delivery worker told the customer in his note that they could write your wrongs below. He then included a Venmo handle where the customer could have a tip. His video sparked a debate about tipping in the comment section. While some agreed everyone should tip when ordering food, many people defended the customer and their no tip approach. It's technically, it technically wasn't free DoorDash paid you, one person said. Uh, I, never, I never tip. I pay the service fees to DoorDash or Uber Eats. That's enough. If you don't make enough money, then get a new job, another person. That's hardcore. Those are people that don't like to tip. And, you know, I, I call them the cheapies. And I'm going to take a stand here as well. If you can't tip the individual that's gone out of the way to provide you an excellent service, you cheap. You cheap. Others question why French Fry Thug would accept the delivery since DoorDash drivers are shown the tip before they accept or decline any order. Not necessarily. Right now that um, that app has been taken away, you can't really see the tip. A DoorDash spokesman confirmed that drivers have a guaranteed minimum amount they know they'll earn beforehand. The DoorDash worker told Insider that he didn't typically accept a delivery with no tip. This time he accepted the order and left the note as a learning lesson for everyone, he says in the video. He told Insider that he was shocked by the response to the video. Obviously, you're going to get a massive response. I didn't realize these people support not tipping drivers, he said. Meanwhile, French Fry Thug isn't the first delivery driver to go viral over tipping. In June, Smiths and Michael posted a video of himself crying after he received a $1.19 tip. We remember that one, right? And there are many more. I just wish people knew what it was like, Michael says in the video. I wish they understood what it was like to drive for these services. Insider has previously reported that food delivery drivers want customers to know that tipping is how they make the majority of their money. The DoorDash delivery driver said that was ultimately his goal with this video. And I think you made your point. And I, I, I acknowledge you. I um, support you on your idea, right? Because you wanted to get something across. You wanted to get a statement. And again, I want everyone to comment on this, right? Whether you're a person accepting food, whether uh, you're ordering food, if you're a person driving food, chime in. Let's talk about tipping in this video. I hope that people see the other side of things he said and see what it likes to drive 10 miles and wait in an understaffed restaurant to deliver an order um, for, a two do for $2 and no tip. I also want to take it further and say, <clears throat> I hope people see the other side of things. I would like to add to that and, and understand that we are in a pandemic, COVID, right? And that we're putting ourselves at risk for you because that's one of the reasons you're ordering this food is because the COVID and the Delta. And so we're going out there. So if we're doing that, if we're putting ourselves in the firing line in the danger zone for you, reward us. It's called danger pay. I got danger pay in the army for going into areas that I didn't like to go in, but they paid me extra, right? So <clears throat> do it. People ordering food, do it. Don't hesitate, just tip. You know, even if it's a dollar or two or five or 10, if you want to spoil someone, give them 50 or 100, make their day. But you got a tip, folks. You got a tip. No excuses. Uh, please, I would like to hear your comments. Another a, a bit of advice is um, <clears throat> you take your story, to the media and run with it. 
you make a lot of noise and you make a statement. Um, yesterday we made a statement. I drove to Riverside. I drove to Monterey Park. I drove to Los Angeles. I went to the studio the entire day to make a statement for drivers. And that is that the companies need to step it up on safety. We did ABC, we did CBS, we did NBC, and we did KTLA and Fox, right? And a few other channels and also Telemundo. There are five, six channels, exposure, tons of exposure making a statement, right? There's nothing wrong with making a statement and standing up for drivers or riders, right? These are important issues, tipping, security, safety that need to be addressed. And how do you do it? You turn to social media or you get these TV stations involved. And by the way, if you want to know how to engage TV stations and nurture those relationships, right? Because once you've met with the TV crew and you have an in, you'll get your story across again and again. You just, you just contact them, right? Um, I made a video that I am going to release tonight or tomorrow on how to do that. If you want to engage the TV, it works. Have a great day. Please comment on tipping.